Uh, so we know that the, the MLP is actually a set of the input layer. Okay, so if you have three features, so normally there will be three inputs, uh, three input layer and also uh, one bias. And also you can define the hidden layers. So for example, if I have one hidden layer, so the value is calculated. So we have weights among those uh, layers and depending on uh, the output. So for example, if it is a regression model, so the output will be one. Okay, and if that is a classification, so the output will be that depending on the number of the classes that you have. So each output will be the prob probability, okay, for that for that uh, for the data to be that class. So for example, the probability of the the records to be a single family home, and also to be a non single family home. Okay, uh, so however, so if we keep the um, uh, the, the MLP like this. So if all the um, calculations are just no matter how many hidden layers or how many hidden units you added. So if all the functions are linear functions, so there's no difference between the neural network and also the uh, linear regression models. So what makes the neural, ne neural network to be powerful is that we introduce those nonlinear functions. Okay. So the nonlinear functions um, that makes the MLP that truly powerful, that is because that we give the more, uh, we give the models more power to variate so that uh, we potentially can capture uh, the tiny uh, differences among those features so that we can make a better prediction. Okay. Uh, so the nonlinear function are also called the smooth functions or the uh, active functions. So uh, there are so many types of the functions, and uh, I'm not I'm not going to go to the details about the those functions, but just want uh, uh, let you know that give you a a basic idea of those functions. So we have the rectified function, or R U L R E L U. So that is basically that. Uh, if the if the value is below zero, okay, we will return zero. Otherwise, we will return the value of itself. So that it cut off values at between below zeros. Okay. Uh, we also have the TNH functions. Okay. Uh, so that means it will return the result that between a negative one and also positive one. Okay. Uh, we also have this uh, sigmoid function, or actually that is logistic function. So that will return a value between 0 and 1. Okay, so this will be between negative 1 and also 1. Okay, so um, we are not going to go to the details about those functions, but, um, and of course, they are also the other type of the uh, nonlinear functions or active functions. We use this logis logistic functions in, in our logistic regression models. So, uh, so again, so those are uh, the other types of the uh, nonlinear functions. So now let's look at the M MLP model. So MLP model is that that neural network um, that contains multiple layers. So in this case, we have uh, three layers, the input layer, one hidden layer and also uh, output layer. And each layer has uh, several neurons. So like so the input layer, so that means how many features you have. So those are the number of the layers. Uh, for the hidden layers, you can define how many units you, you want for each single hidden layer. You can also determine that how many hidden layers you want. And for the output layer, so the if that is regression model, there's only one um, uh, output, and if there are classifications, so that will be the number of categories. Um, uh, it calls the number of units in the output layer. And for each neuron, it contains a list of the weight. Okay, uh, so for example, for first uh, unit. It contains a list of weight that corresponding to each single input layer, so each single previous layer. And here, so here, 
for this one, so it contains those three weights that corresponding to three hidden layer, units in these hidden layers. So a neuron is simply a list of weight whose length is no more than the number of the inputs to the neuron. Okay? It's a, sorry, it's a one more than the number of inputs to the neuron. So uh, because we always have the bias, uh, the weight for the bias. A layer is a list of neurons uh, in that um, layer. And the neural network is a list of the layers. Okay? A list of the layers. Uh, so for example, here, when we calculate uh, the value of the hidden layers, so uh, we so we use the input for each the weight for each single input, and the plus bias, and once we have the final result, so we bring that result to this nonlinear function. So that is a function that we just introduced on the previous slide, and we use the same function for the second hidden layer and also third hidden layer. So by doing that. Uh, the calculation will be more complicated and the model will be more powerful. Okay, and finally the final output is calculated that uh, based on those hidden layers and plus, so here we have those are the buyers. Okay, so B stands for the buyers. Um, so here are some terminologies. So weight are the weights between the input and those hidden layers. Uh, they are the weights that are between hidden layers and those output. Okay. Um, X are the input layers and the Y is the calculated output. Okay. And here H is the intermediate computations. Okay, so those stand for the unit of the hidden layers. Okay. So um, W, V, X, Y, and H defines the structure of the MLP model. How, uh, you can determine that uh, how many hidden layers you want and also how many units you want for each hidden layer. Uh, that will determine that how many W you have and also how many V you need to have. And also depending on the data, uh, so you uh, you should have the number of inputs and also depending on the, uh, the model types, you will have the number of outputs. Okay. So what the model really learned from the data are those weights, are the weights of W and also V. Okay, so weight of W and V. Okay, so those are the weight. So uh, the input, uh, we already know that. So those are from the data, and we use the data and also and also hidden layers are just uh, intermediate intermediate calculations, and output will be the the, the final. A target that we want to predict. So the really values that we learned are the weights. Okay, are the weights that uh, between those layers. And how can we collaborate to the weight, or how can we find out the best weights? And the technology that for the MLP is called back propagation. Okay, so it's called back propagation. So Back propagation is commonly used by using is commonly used by the gradient descent optimizing algorithm. Again, as I said, gradient descent is a very commonly used uh, technology in machine learning. So back propagation is used to adjust the weight of neurons. Okay, so that uh, you can have the best weight you know, from the uh, in your neural network. Okay, uh, so initially. We will run the feed forward on the input and to produce to produce output of all the neurons. So so initially all the weight all the weights are assigned randomly. So for the first iteration, all the weights are assigned uh, randomly. And we just calculate so depending on how many output uh, hidden layers and also units you have, um, you will you will have your initial output. And we'll ca compare the initial output against the result, so we'll have the difference. Okay, we'll have difference between output and its target. Remember, this is a supervised learning, so we know the right uh, target. And the next, we'll 
will have errors, so we'll calculate the gradient of those errors, which as a function of the neuron's weight, and we will adjust the weight in the direction that we can minimize the error. Okay, and we will propagate those errors back. Okay, so that we can uh, adjust uh, the weight for those hidden layers. Okay, so we can adjust the weight for those hidden layers. And we will run this algorithm multiple times. Okay, so back, forth, back, forth. So uh, first time and also second time adjust the weight and a third iteration and also adjust weight. So multiple times. Okay, until that we reach a point that uh, um, so the network be, uh, the network uh, converges converges. So that means the net all the um, uh, weights become stable. Okay, until we reach that uh, status, we will stop training. 